Hi everyone, do you have a PC what does not have a USB Type-C slot on the machine but you need one to charge your device or you want faster transfer speeds? Well this is where this comes in handy from Acasa. It's a 20 gigabits per second USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 Type-C to PCIe host card. Yeah, it's a bit of a mouthful, but in basics, what you do is get this card, slot it in a PCIe socket on your motherboard, and then it gives you a USB type C connection on the back of your PC. So you can transfer data up to 20 gigabits per second. So that's pretty quick. So if you wanna transfer stuff, lots of stuff really quick, then this is the device you're probably looking for. We have links in the description below if you're interested in purchasing and want to find out the latest price in your country. Again, prices are up and down at the moment due to global issues. Before we go on to the main video, if you would do us a favour, click that like button, subscribe, click the bell as well, and that way you'll get notifications of new videos and live streams we do. Again, doing all these things helps support the channel, and helping to support the channel allows us to release more videos, better quality videos, and more content exclusively just for you. Okay, as you can see, it says a casser on the front in bright red. Then you've got a picture of the card. It looks like it's a black card, obviously with a silver bracket. It says type C. You've got a barcode there. It says about the 20 gigabits per second. And it says the USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 type C to PCIe host card. God, you need to take a breath after saying that. And on the side, it tells you about it being USB 3.2 uh, 2. Uh, two by two, uh, 20 gigabits per second, PCIe, and then you've got their easy installation as well. Should just be pushing in a one screw, I would have thought, and depending on your case. Same information on that side. On the back, it shows you a bit more information about the card, like the differences in speed, where the connections are on the back and so forth. So it's pretty straightforward. And then you've also got the feature list on there as well. Okay, so this is what's inside the box. First of all, you've got a anti-static bag, which obviously the device comes in to keep it protected, as well as a plastic bag, what the backplate uh, adapter, if you're using a low profile uh, case or something like that came in. So nothing over the top there. You do have a manual, what it comes with, which tells you how to use it, which in all honesty, it's pretty straightforward. I'm guessing you probably not need to use that. But the basics is, you get a motherboard, you slot it in, and hey presto, that bit will be on the back of it, and then you plug a USB Type-C device in. Obviously you plug all that in while the machine is powered off, unplugged, and so forth. If you're not sure what you're doing, then obviously get a computer technician to do it for you. Your local independent store is the best option. But if you have a look at the board, you can see basically all the chips on there. It's probably not too much really to look at in all honesty, because when you've got it in your case, you're not gonna see much there. So it's pretty straightforward. A couple of serial numbers on there, but other than that, there's nothing really to look at. You don't need to plug anything into it. For any reason, you do need to put the low pro profile bracket on, two screws there, you just unscrew those, it comes off, and then basically you attach that one and then put those screws in there. It's pretty straightforward and simple. There's not much really to go wrong or do wrong with it. Okay, so all you need to do to fit one of these cards into your computer. It's pretty simple, you have to take the side off, make sure the power is off, if you're not sure how, pull the power cable out when you've shut the machine down. Then you just get the card, and then you slot it into one of these slots. It can fit into an eight speed or a 16 speed slot. So uh, this is a full size 16 speed slot. It won't fit in the really small ones, so you have to make sure you've got a slot it will fit in. But the basics is, you just hover it over the slot and push down and it should just push straight in and that's it. And then you'll just put the screw in there and it will hold it into position. This, if you're not sure what you're looking at here, this pit here would be the back of your computer case, which I'll show you in a second. 
Okay, so now you've got the card installed in the machine and it's screwed in and you've put the side back on your case, obviously switched it all on and so forth, you'll be able to get your USB Type-C cable and plug it into the adapter there. And that then will allow you to charge up your phone, plug in a docking station and so forth. Obviously, if you're plugging in a USB Type-C connection in, if you've got a USB type uh, if you've got a USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2 connection or device, it will work faster because this is what this card is. If you've still got a USB 3.1 Type-C or anything along that lines, then it will still work. But, bear in mind, the faster, obviously, the device is, the faster it will work because this will go all the way up to USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2 at 20 gigabits per second. Thank you for watching this video everyone, it's really appreciated you made it all the way to the end. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment and even click that bell so you get notifications of new videos and live streams. It does help support the channel and supporting the channel basically means that we can release more content for you and also better quality content going forward. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh,